I was digging around in my registered products, and I noticed there's a new baking UI that came out with Moto 801. Uh, once you install it, it adds the toolbar up here, and just click that, and it will let you bake from one target object, or from a source to a target object. And then uh, go to the layout, and I found a flashlight, so I'll just add that back to the render tab. Okay. And then I was going in, and, and I'll just add a model tab. Just add a cube, and quickly model a flashlight. I figured it'd be about that big by that big by that big. All right, awesome flashlight. It's a rectangular cube. <laughs> All right, now. My target object is this cube. I don't actually need this mesh layer. Okay, so there's the target. The source is the flashlight. Just do the defaults. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, and give the cube the other cube material I had. Interesting. I wonder if it's it's based on so it's it's doing all the sides now. It's based on uh, the source object projecting out. So the fact that they're overlapping is probably why it's working now. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, scale my flashlight a little better then. So theoretically then, if I... Let's turn off that, that thing. Okay, cool. Oh, look at that. And it's... Uh, you'll see it better from the render tab here. That's totally the flashlight. Directional light. Duplicate. Okay. Okay, flashlight. Just to aim the, uh, the other light up a little bit. Alright, and then now I'll be able to see the flashlight from multiple angles. Yeah, so it baked the normals from the one object to the other object. I mean, that is pretty neat. Okay, and then that original test I was doing. Okay, so instead of a flashlight, I had tried to use a sphere. Okay. And the cube... Make sure that the cube, forget this cube, make a new cube. And that fits nicely. One unit cube, one meter cube, one meter sphere. Then I can just specify the target object as the cube. Source as the sphere, and bake that. That's exactly what it should have been. Okay, cool. And then just give this cube the cube material, and now, yeah, alright, I'm going to hide this cube, and de deface this sphere a little bit so it looks different, alright, bevel the edge, bring them in, there we go. Maybe over here. Bubble these out. Okay, got a unique thing. Unhide it. Unhide the cube. 
Um, I hid the cube before. Okay, whatever. Uh, bake it. Yeah, the polys are hidden. What happened? It's alright. It's just a cube. Make a new cube. Normally H would hide the thing, but it wasn't... You wasn't unhiding it. Okay. And I'm going to make this cube a little bit bigger because the geometry was poking out there. So slightly bigger there. I'm going to give it the material for cube. And now when I specify it as a target object and bake. Well, look at that. This is a lot of fun. You can just <laughs> bake it like that and look. It's got all the different sides. Alright, so you'll notice, like, see these jaggies? Like, I can fix that by just baking a higher texture model here. Alright. Bake new normals. Takes a little bit longer to bake because it's a bigger texture. And now the jaggies are more smooth. And it totally looks like the higher, higher poly model there. This would work for a lot of different things. Alright, cool. Very cool. Well, thanks for watching. And you can play around with the baking UI. It's a plugin that comes with Moto 801 that you install. And it adds a button here in the toolbar. And uh, just make sure that your objects, your source and your target, can project to each other so they overlap and then it it works perfectly for baking normals and I had it's got all these other different channels and stuff so you can bake all these channels cool well thanks for watching